Can you name a TV show that was canceled way too early? Some TV shows are immediately embraced by the masses for the magic that they are and run for five seasons or more, being allowed to complete their story arcs. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Supernatural, How I Met Your Mother, etc. And then there are shows that are well made and clever, yet get pulled from the air prematurely. Sometimes it's due to a lack of ratings. Sometimes a network sets them up to fail. I'm looking at you, Fox. I'm Mike with List 25, and here's a list of 25 of the best TV shows that were cancelled too early. Twenty-five. Firefly. Firefly was a pretty clever show about cowboys in space. With nifty one-liners and good character development, Firefly could have been the next Buffy, but it fell prey to Fox changing its schedule around sports and airing episodes out of order. Not sure what you thought would happen there, Fox. 24. Pushing Daisies. Pushing Daisies was a show about Ned, played by Lee Pace, who made pies and also could bring dead things back to life by touching them. If he touched them again, they would die and stay dead. He brought back a girl and fell in love with her. Whoops. It was heartwarming, clever, and quaint, and super saturated with dreamlike color, so of course it was canceled. It's worth watching, if only for Lee Pace's eyebrows and Christian Chenoweth's everything. What killed this amazing show? Basically the writer's strike. Thanks guys. Oh, and it won seven Emmys! Ugh! It's so good! 23. My So-Called Life This was a show about a 15-year-old girl dealing with being 15. Young Claire Danes and Jared Leto are amazing, and if you've ever missed the 90s, a few episodes will satisfy that nostalgic craving. 22. About a Boy About a Boy was a show based on the movie starring Hugh Grant, which was based on a book of the same name which was a reference to a Nirvana song. The show starred David Walton as a songwriter slash playboy and Minnie Driver as the single mother who moves in next door with her son. 21. Dead Like Me Dead Like Me was about a girl who died and became a reaper. The show dealt with death via comedy, and it did so well that five years after cancellation, there was a direct-to-DVD movie made for fans to tie up loose ends. 20. Veronica Mars this TV show was so popular among fans that a Kickstarter was launched to raise funds for a movie and the goal was met within 10 hours. Set in a fictional town in California, the show starred Kristen Bell and followed the life of Veronica through high school and college as she worked as a private investigator. The Veronica Mars movie was released in 2014. 19. The Brady Brides This was exactly what it sounded like. Marsha and Jan grew up and got married, but were too poor to each afford their own house, so Marsha, Jan, and their husbands lived together. Wacky hijinks ensued. It was awful. But it was the kind of nostalgic awful you wanted more of. <coughs> Fuller House. <coughs> mm. Sorry. 18. Selfie. Selfie was a newer spin on the classic My Fair Lady tale, and it had some majorly talented star power. Karen Gillian and Cho, but ultimately suffered from, well, a really terrible name that failed to inspire any interest whatsoever. 17. Witches of East End Witches of East End was a show about beautiful, powerful, dark-haired women who had a bunch of family drama and also did magic. It was totally addictive and left us way too soon. 16. Wonderfalls Apparently, casting Lee Pace in a show created by Brian Fuller unleashes a curse. What curse, you ask? That curse is that there will be an amazing show that is a bit too intelligent or weird for the masses, and thus will end way too soon. Such was the case with Pushing Daisies, and such was the case with its predecessor, Wonderfalls. While Pace only had a supporting role, Caroline Davernis starred as a sarcastic, frustrated 20-something girl who uses her Ivy League degree to work in a souvenir shop in Niagara Falls. Then, fake, plastic, animals start talking to her. 15. Deadwood Deadwood was an HBO show that was cancelled as it was about to go into production for its fourth season. It left a lot of loose ends hanging. Fans of the Western had hoped that those ends would be tied up in one or two made-for-TV movies, but those dreams never came to fruition. 14. Moonlight This show was a campy vampire soap opera-esque primetime mystery at its greatest. Sadly, it wasn't appreciated for what it was. 
a show about a sexy vampire private detective and the cute blonde he falls for under the moonlight in LA. It was cancelled, but somehow we got like 16 Twilight movies, and those vampires hated themselves and sparkled. Thanks, Hollywood. 13. V. V was a remake, sort of. In the mid 1980s, there were two miniseries and a short lived show. In 2009, the new show was an attempt to take that story, Earth's first meeting with extraterrestrials who are super advanced and come in peace, but shock, not really, and remake it. It worked for two seasons, and then was cancelled due to low ratings. 12. Terra Nova Terra Nova was about time travel and dinosaurs, and I'm still not quite sure how it all ended up going so very, very wrong. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it cost a fortune to make. Definitely a situation where if a show had been given another season to really find its groove, it could have been something truly special. 11. Undeclared Undeclared was a show brought to us by Judd Apatow, who also brought us Freaks and Geeks. The show was about college freshmen and the recently divorced dad of one who decides to hang out with them. It received much critical acclaim, but suffered from poor ratings. 10. Better Off Ted this was a show in the same vein as The Office, but darker and definitely a sitcom as opposed to a documentary. It was hilarious, particularly to those who have survived the grind of corporate America. Worth watching for Portia de Rossi alone. 9. Terriers Terriers somehow managed to be one of the lowest rated show in FX's history. However, it received a Metascore of 75 and got 94% on the tomato meter at Rotten Tomatoes. What that basically means is that nearly everyone who saw the show loved it, just not a lot of people saw it. A former cop slash recovering alcoholic and his ex-con best friend start up an unlicensed detective agency and generally attempt to avoid other adult responsibilities. 8. Arrested Development Arrested Development was cancelled after just three seasons, yet retains one of the biggest cult followings of any modern TV show. Seriously, the fans rival Firefly's fans. It was brought back in 2013 for a fourth season via the magic of Netflix. The original run of the show won six primetime Emmys and a Golden Globe. After the fourth season on Netflix, there was supposedly going to be a film, or a fifth season, or both. But neither have come to fruition, so who knows. 7. Jericho Jericho was a show about what happens to people in a small town after nuclear war devastates most of the US. It was initially cancelled after the first season due to low ratings, but there was such an uproar from fans that the network reluctantly made a second season of only seven episodes that premiered in early 2008. The story now lives on in comic book form. 6. Revolution Revolution was brought to us by the same mind that gave us Supernatural, Eric Kripke, along with J.J. Abrams. The show is about a family trying to survive in a world post-electricity. Fifteen years prior, there was a great permanent blackout. The people of Earth were, by and large, not prepared to return to a pre-industrial revolution way of life. 5. Southland Southland was a cop drama about a rookie and his experienced partner in LA. It was killed by NBC after one season, but resurrected on TNT for another four. Sometimes, when the big networks don't get magical ratings overnight, they pull the plug on some really good shows. Their loss. 4. The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien This Tonight Show was full of drama from the start, and it was all off screen. O'Brien had been doing Late Night with Conan O'Brien for over a decade and a half, and Jay Leno had been doing The Tonight Show, which aired an hour earlier. Leno attempted to move on to bigger and better things, so O'Brien took over. Then, when bigger and better things didn't pan out for Leno, O'Brien was sent packing, and Leno was given back his spot. That is, until The Tonight Show was taken over by Jimmy Fallon in 2014. Comedy is subjective. Some people preferred O'Brien, some Leno, but most people can agree that O'Brien was treated quite poorly by the network. It's worth noting that O'Brien's version of The Tonight Show got four Emmy nominations in its seven-month run. 3. Star Trek this was the original series about cowboys in space. Sadly, it only lasted three seasons. Eleven movies and five other longer-running series later, I'm thinking the studio made the wrong call here. In case you haven't heard, there's another Star Trek series coming in September 2017, Star Trek Discovery. 2. Futurama 
Futurama follows Philip J. Fry, a pizza delivery boy who finds himself cryogenically frozen on New Year's Eve 1999, only to wake up in the 31st century where he becomes a delivery boy. The show is funny, wickedly clever, and heart-wrenching. When was the last time an adult half-hour cartoon show made you cry? Just watch the episode Jurassic Bark. Honestly, I'm hoping that Netflix picks it up, because there will never be enough Futurama. Even in 2016, the first season is still eerily relevant. 1. Freaks and Geeks Freaks and Geeks was a show about high school misfits in the 1980s. One sibling was a freak, the other was a geek. It boasted a cast of actors that would later become household names, John Francis Daly, James Franco, Seth Rogen, and Jason Segel, yet was cancelled after only 12 episodes aired, though 18 had been filmed. So, what was your favorite TV show that was cancelled prematurely? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the bottom right so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these three videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.